Namaste children. I hope you are fit and fine. So we will continue the next part of input devices that we were studying today. So we will study the next part of other few input devices which are left over. So we, today in this class we will be studying the other input devices. Those are first and foremost we will know once again what is an input device. An input device is any machine that feeds the data into a computer and sends information to the CPU to perform specific function. So last class we have studied some of the input devices. So we will see some more input devices which we have to know. So the first and foremost will be your digital camera. So what is this digital camera do? So digital camera you have come across Day to day life you see digital cameras nowadays even a small kid is having a digital camera. So what is the advantage of using this digital camera to the olden days cameras. So the olden days cameras used to work through rolls, film rolls. But nowadays camera is not working through the film rolls. So whatever you can see an LCD screen here. And whatever you click the image that is being displayed immediately on the screen. And how we can say this digital camera as an input device is. Once we click all the photos or the images which we want. Later through a cable we connect this camera to the system. Once this camera is connected to the system. All whatever the data is being seen in the camera is being seen in the system. So what does this act like? So this acts like an input device. So a camera that stores a picture or a video it takes in an electronic format instead of a film. That's what I said earlier used to have a film roll. In the film roll the image used to get stored but here it gets stored in an electronic format. The digital cameras have some have become the camera solution for most users today and as the quality of picture they ha take has greatly improved and as the price has decreased. Okay, so this is a this was about the digital digital camera. The next one we will study about the MICR. What is MICR? MICR is nothing but magnetic ink character recognition. So where do we see this? And what is the function of this? Let us see. So now MICR is nothing but magnetic ink character recognition. And this device is mainly seen in banks. Wherein to see the checks. The pass over the checks you can see here. They have passed through a check to see. And you can see on the check on the left corner sides they would have written with the black ink the account number, the check numbers. And the check number is being made up with a magnetic ink. That is recognized through this device to see whether the check is fake or not. So that is why we use MICR device as an input device in banks. So the next input device is your optical character recognition. So what is this optical character recognition? So it involves a reading of text from a paper and translating the images into a form that the computer can manipulate. An OCR system enables you to take a book or a magazine article. So now if you are studying an article from a book or a magazine and you think that is an important article and that you need to store it somewhere. So you can use this optical character recognition device and you pass that text, pass this device over the text which you want to store it in your system and once it gets stored it in your optical character recognition device then you can transfer that data into your system and this is how it acts as an input device. The next one is your OMR. So what is this optical mark recognition? So this is mainly used in your aptitude test and you might have seen many of the students might have taken this NTSC exams on online exams. So there they would have given you a sheet 
and an hall ticket sheet and they tell you to shade there are given circles and they tell you to shade using pencil or a blue pen and to shade those circles why is that used because there is no man functioning happening there because the system corrects your paper and gives you a result the it is being generated the result is generated through your system there is no manual correction happening in this answer sheet so that is why it is used for aptitude test so there cannot be any mal functioning happening in your tests or your in exams so the next input device is your barcode reader so what is this barcode reader you might have gone to a shops or you might have gone to malls or supermarkets and you buy some products after buying a product you go to a billing counter to bill it up correct where the sales person he takes each product and he scans through this device so this device is called the barcode reader and you can see a light which is passing through this is a photoelectric light which is passing through and which identifies these barcodes and on their stickers and there would be a sticker on your product and there would be some black lines so what does that black line indicate that black line indicates the code of that particular object and what is that code called as universal product code upc so the barcode identifies the product and matches it to the supermarket's computer that is the database what he has stored for and he has he might have kept some price for that particular product so this barcode re reader recognizes that rate and it shows you up automatically so that is how this barcode reader is very useful the next thing is your speech input device what does this speech input device do the speech or the voice input device convert a person's image speech into a digital form you can see now in your online classes you wear this correct but you don't have you just wear a headphone right but you don't have the speech head there would be a mic attached to your headphones where you talk in and whatever you sp speech is being given that speech is converted into a digital form and these input device when combined with appropriate software to form a voice recognition device systems and these systems enables the user to operate computers using using the voice commands so this is mainly used in the call centers clear the next thing input device is your touch screen so what is this touch screen so the touch screen is nothing but your mobiles all your mobiles are made up with touch screen now it is correct even tvs have come with a touch screen the laptops have come with a touch screen so what is the advantage of this touch screen so touch screen is an electronic visual display that can detect the presence and location of a touch with so you have a sensor inbuilt in this touch screen and when you place your hand or your finger that touch the sensor senses your skin sensitiveness and it enables so that is how your touch screen is working clear the next input device is your touch pad what does this touch pad do the touch pad is mainly used in your laptops it acts similarly to your mouse you have a right button you have a left button and you have a touch pad so this touch pad is a touch sensitive pad used for as a pointing device it mainly acts like your mouse it is mainly used in your laptops in all your laptops with your mouse also you can work using this touch pad then next is your light pen what does this light pen do light pen is a computer input device in the form of a light sensitive one so you can see a pen wherein he is writing something on the screen so now you might have seen a samsung mobiles higher end mobiles 
or even an app will hire and say devices, you see a wand or a pen given. So using that light pen, we can use even in your projectors or in your smart boards, you can you see a light pen which is used. The tip of that light pen is with electronic sensor through which you it enables to sense the screen and it allows you to write on the screen. Clear? And this is connected through your input device or to the CPU through which the information is sent to your computer. So a light pen is a computer input device which forms a light sensitive one and used in conjunction with CRT displays and it allows the user to point to displayed objects and you can move wherever it similarly acts like your mouse so you can click on anywhere you can use as a writing media on your smart boards so all these are your light pens clear so this was about your this completes the whole set of your input devices and the next set is your in the next class, we will be discussing about the other output devices. So, this is a big chapter. So, it is taking a lot of time to complete it. And I want you to complete the assignments in your classwork. And the assignments goes like this. Explain about the barcode reader in brief. Then expand MICR and write a brief note about it. Then expand OMR and where do we find it? Give some examples. You need to give some examples where you see this OMR readers. Then you will write a short note on speech input device. Then write the difference between a touchpad and a touch screen. Clear? All these questions have to be written in your class works. So I hope you have understood the chapter. So thank you.